Hiya everyone, today I'm going to be doing a monochrome look, well I'm saying monochrome, a, go, uh, a nice smoky silver black grey kind of look and I really 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 hope you enjoy. I've got already nip and fab on, I usually keep this for night time but I'm not going out anymore and it doesn't matter. This is only if you use during the day put an SPF over the top of it because it can cause sun sensitivity, someone said about a retinol. But if you've got any questions, Nip and Fab Team are great at answering stuff like that. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills and this. Now, I love this stuff. It goes on really well, but it's too yellow for me. And it's a little bit dark. So this one here, I've just mixed it in today and I'm really happy with the results. I've got a nice over, like an all over glow. It's not too yellow because sometimes I end up looking like Bart Simpson off some of these foundations. And my my... I think my general feel is at the minute I'm probably more of a, a pinky toned so yellow is not really good for me but that's working quite well so that's, I've already got that on I'm going to go in with this one here and it's paintly and it's the MAC paint pot just to get a nice base on I was going to use P. Louise base the white one but I think it's a bit too white I don't want anything too white I've got something stuck on my eyelid Ah, so just get this on all over. I'm going to bring this right out as well because hopefully I'm going to use a little bit of this area here. We've got new white blinds. Well, we've got blinds fitted in the bedroom so that I can have a bit of light on a morning when I go to work. It's going to be really early. So the light at the back of the house, it shines in the room and there's no way I can do a video. So I'd have to shut the curtains in there. It's really, really dark. So what we've done is we'll put white blinds on so I can have them shut but it'll be enough light come through so I can get my videos done for you so I can do them before I go to work because I've got a long walk into work as well so I'm going to have to get really early but I'm going to carry on. I'm not doing, not letting anything get in the way. So I've got my primer on. Paint, I love I love these paint pot thingies. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Right, okay. So... First of all, I want to go in the background colour with this one. This is the Anastasia Novena palette. This is what Clara got us and it's beautiful. I haven't used it enough and I can't wait to do something else for them. We're going in with that one at the minute, Volatile. You need a nice background colour. Sure will we. Right, so stick it on with one of them. It's really gorgeous. I'm going to build this right up and then go in with some dark, nice colours. Now there's a brown in the palette that I'm actually wanting to use, but it's too dark. So this volatile is perfect. Get that off. Absolutely perfect brown for this job. I'm just bringing that all the way along. It's gonna go on as a nice base for the silver, I hope. Just pulling that out a little bit. There's a new palette I've got. It is Jawbreaker and James sent us it. I cannot wait to do a look with it. It's got all the colours that are in. I, I'm, I'm a colour girl. I'm not a nude girl. I'm not a um I'm not like a, a grey and black girl. I'm a proper colour girl. I love colour. I, I see it and I get so excited that I practically have to hyperventilate. So when Jawbreaker, I saw Jawbreaker and I've been staring at it. So I can't wait to come up with something with that one. I've just seen the pinks and stuff and I'm like, oh God. So you might end up getting a few more extra videos this week. Even though I'm going back to work, I'm going to find a way to get them done for you. Even if I've got to come home and film. I'm not going to be that tired. We don't, we're finished quite early. No, we don't. We're back to normal when the week I go in. Uh, the week that, the, this week we'll do um, the 8 till 2. But when I go back on Tuesday, I think it's going to be the full 8 till 5. So it might even be the full half by 7 till 5. I'm not, I'm not sure how it's going to work. But never mind. Still going to have plenty of time. If I... Do my best. It's going to be a bit harder for us because to do replying and all the stuff, but I want to keep on top of it as much as possible. So if I do it before I go in, 
and then Jamie replies once I'm there if I have like a little lunch break or something but I don't know I don't know how the breaks are going to work especially where the hours are all weird at the minute just get that in just want to build a nice dark brown base for this tell you what I'm loving this brown it's beautiful right in there bring it right up I've got some fantastic highlight I'm going to use as well I love doing like a background colour like this I really do but I've noticed I've got very dark in there and then it stops there look so we'll have to come in a bit more with that we went for a drive today in the car and we went to Team Valley. I said to Martin, like, where are we going today? Because we've, we've been picking different places to just drive to in the car. Because we don't really go out. We want to keep a bit safe. But we went to Team Valley because he works at Team Valley. And there's a river that runs through it. But it stops and it veers off. And then it kind of goes around the corner and then starts again. And it's like, well, whereabouts around the corner is the river? Because up until that point, you can see grids. So you can see grids over the river. And then it stops and it's flat and there's a roundabout and then you don't know where else it goes but then it comes out at a different it's really weird to explain but it's really interesting so we went and had a look at that and then i just love driving around different places looking at different houses and seeing different like i don't know i just love being in the car with them we don't even, we don't even put the music on you know it's mad just sit and look at each other well, I'll look at him while he's driving. I think, oh, I'm so lucky I've got him. He's such a sexy boy. <laughs> right, now I've got my brown on. I'm going to put some highlight on in a minute, but I think I'm going to go in with this one here. So it's quite a silver. It's like a dark gunmetal silver. And I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow brush. It should be fine. Sometimes... You've got to use your f fingers. No, that's going on totally fine. Sometimes with eyeshadows, the, you get a better payoff if you use your fingers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on with this first, get a good base going. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Pack it on. Pack it right in there really hard. It does need a bit of persuading. The Revolution palettes do. The that. They're, they're quite, the colours are good, gorgeous, but you need to persuade them on your eyelid a bit. So a good base and a bit of a, you know, work with it and it'll, it'll do you good. There we go. Pack it on. Don't be scared. I'm loving your photos I guess are sending us. Loads of people either inspired to play with colour it's just brilliant uh, honestly i am so 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 chuffed that i've been able to make us feel inspired to play with color and stuff such a compliment that i've been able to do that so thank you and i love seeing your photos so keep them coming on instagram and facebook now i'll be putting the photos up to this look on my instagram I always do and um so please follow us on instagram I'll put the link up under the video in the description box. I've got a yellow patch of skin. It's a little yellow dot. I showed Martin today. He said I'd probably just put something there like a stain, like a, a bit of eyeshadow that's stained or something. But I can't remember I putting anything like that there. So I don't know how that's got there, but it's a little yellow dot. It's under a freckle, but it's not yellow. It's not like a freckle color. It's so weird. So I, it's, like, it's just like someone's pen just put with green ink and it's settled at yellow. It's very odd. I know I should just leave this till the end but it bugs us. I hate seeing fallout. So we've got to get rid. Okay, so I've got that on. I'm going to start blending and I'm packing it on. Because it's, it's... It's sitting quite nice but I need to blend that line out. So... Where's that little brush? I've got a little one here. It's a little Ted Baker one. Look at it. It's cute. 
Martin Mam got us it, I think, last Christmas. She bought us a little Ted Baker set. I'm just going back in with a bit of this to blend. And then um, it came with a little eyelash curler, a mascara, a lipstick, an eyebrow pencil, and this brush, and a fan brush. I think that was it. Oh, sorry, two lipsticks and a nail varnish. Two nail varnishes. No, one or two. And I put it in me Lucky Dip buckets when, when we used to do the Lucky Dips in the kitchen. And I, I forgot all about them because they've been behind the mirror and some of it's been in the attic because once I stopped filming in the kitchen, everything got put upstairs. And they've just bit by bit getting everything sorted and we're getting the blinds done today. We've been cleaning up in the room. And work my way around stuff so we've found come across it all now so i blended that in i'm happy with that i think what i will do with the is i'm going to put a bit of black yeah and i'm going to go in with that one there is that wet no just looks it we're going to go in with that one there so black it's a bit sparkly right that's good okay and off we go, I'll push that right in out a corner, just to darken it. And just kind of rolling it in. Just to give it a bit extra. Ah, can you see? <laughs> I'm wrecking the joint. That's better. I love that way it's sitting in there again and I'm really pleased with these bases I haven't used MAC paint pots for years but I've been getting right into them lately so I've got soft ochre, painterly and base study and I love are there any others you would advise or you would recommend which other ones would you recommend that you think I'd like I just love jars of primers and stuff. I've got loads of P. Louise bases and all, which I love. I think this needs to be brought out just a little bit. Where's that other one I've got? That one? We're going to use the same brush I used for the brown. I'm just push that out a little bit. Just a little bit. That's it. Just gently pushing that outward. I'm happy with that. Now I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of the light silver on. So I'm going to go that in the middle. This with the finger. I want the most colour. That. It's not really going on. Mm, come on. Come on, do it. No, it's not. Right, fair enough. It's not It's not doing the impact I was hoping for. But what we're going to do is, we're going to just add it in the inner corner, halfway out. Just leave the outer part. We'll leave that to go. We're dark. I was hoping this would go bang. It's still nice. Just it hasn't. Oh, actually, it's coming on. There we go. I'm going to build this up. I'm going to have a bit more. And a bit more. And then I'm going to put a white on the top of that. I really want it built right up. What should I put? Now I'm going to keep the white for the inner corner. Just keep building that up. There we go. I'm happy with that. Let's go right on the inner corner with some nice light white. Hope this works. So I need a little pencil brush for this. And we're going to go in with this one here. Get right in there. Yep, it has. It's worked. So if you just see there nice and light 
really nice that i'm pleased with that lovely color payoff on that white one there because that's the you know when you when you look at the highlighting colors in the palette the, the exciting ones and you want them to stand out don't you it has it's lovely it just makes your inner eyes look alive doesn't half bring them to life it's beautiful a bit more Now we've got to do the same on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with that grey there that we used all over the eyelid. And we're going to put that, actually we're going to smoke the brown out underneath first. So let's take a different pound tent pencil brush. So I'm going to go in with Volatile again. I'm going to go right along the lower lash line. Even if I've got to bring this down with a blender brush, I want to do that and smoke it right out. Oh, it's cool. I've washed this blender loads and it still smells like Martin Sauvage because I put the makeup on him for his drag queen look. So it's lovely smell. I love the smell of his Sauvage. Itchy nose now. Yikes. Right. Off we go. So I've got me brown on, although I feel like I could go further. Shouldn't I? Bring that right down. There we go. I like that. I do feel like I need a bit more brown though. You know when you just know? Yeah, I want more brown. Bring it on. That's it. Really want that smouldering look. Now where's the other one? There we go. This one's going to fall on the floor. Shocking. Now I want to go in with a bit of that. Actually, I'm going to go with the dark. This one here. Huh? No, no. We're going to go in with the top bit. There we go. And we're going to just pull that out. There we go. Just to help darken it out a bit. Mmm, that's nice. I like that. I'm not going all the way. Which way am I going? Let's go halfway. That's it. So you've still got a bit of that brown. Where's that pencil brush? I'm using the brown pencil brush now to just bring that along and blend it right in. This is where Clara said I need some um, cotton buds. I do. I'm going to take the eyeshadow off my lash line sorry water line clean it up and we're going in with the rimmel love this eyeliner it's just spot on so get some of that white in there really impressed with this look now I want to go in with some black eyeliner I've put it somewhere where have I put it have I dropped that as well hmm it was here and I had it all sharp and ready to go there it is so I'm using Maybelline color show and this is going to go on the outer corner right out that out there half I'd say yeah let's just bring it along Mm. nice same again out the half 
I'm going to really thicken this out because I'm going to blend. Use my brown brush I use. So the one I use for the brown, blend. Just to smoke it out a bit. Get that white back on. I need to go in with some of this. I'm going to put in on the top Glossier. So just any black pen tip. This really looking nice. I like that. I really do. I just want to hug the lash line and I'm only going halfway. I'm not going all the way. And I'm not flicking it out either. I'm literally just putting it to the end. Right, okay. So for some mascara, we're going in with Falsify Lift. Falsy. Falsy's Lift, Maybelline. I love this stuff. I think I've run out of meat on, on the Rise NYX. This stuff is brilliant. And at the minute, my lashes are very, very, very temperamental because I've been doing a lot of tutorials and a lot of them have just fell out of, you know, cleaning all the makeup off. So I've been using a lot of false lashes lately, but I just can't be bothered to put any on tonight. So I'll just use my own lashes. But with that means you're going to have more breakages and they're not as full because they've all come out. But this mascara really does help. So if you've got like fine thin lashes, this is a good one to use. So that's that on. Now I'm going to use a tiny bit of this highlighter for under the brow bone. And it is Pacifica. Yeah, Pacifica Rainbow Crystals. This one is Unicorn. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to put a little bit there. And a little bit there. Actually, this is probably going to be ideal for cheekbone. It's not showing up there. Let's get a bit of that on. Yeah. Just need a little one. I, there, there we go. So we'll something little like that. Put a little bit of this highlight on. Let's stick a bit under the brow bone. Cheer this up right up. There we go. Happy with that. Let me just bring this up a bit because I've blended it right out. There we go. Now let's get some brows on. So I'm using this one, CYO Brow and Lash Gel. If I oomph them up a bit, I was going to use my pear soap, but I don't have time because then it'll be a really long video for you. 
Somebody said on one of the comments that they'd like us to edit. I'm going to do my best, but even if I edit, they'll not be short videos. Like, I don't want them too short. Because I think the majority of you prefer them a little bit longer. Where have I put that? Okie doke. I'm going to use this one here. Just a quick brow, brow brush thingy. I'm using Barry M. Shape and define medium and uh, mild, mild and medium, medium to dark. Just push a bit of colour up into them brows. There we go, look at that, nice and dark. Loving doing my brows quite dark and heavy. And I'm going to keep it up when I go back to work and all, I don't care. As I always used to play makeup down because I didn't want to draw attention to myself. And then like last year, especially, I just kind of come out with shell and thought, I don't care. I'm going to wear what I want, when I want. And it was so fun because I thought I've got all this makeup, I want to use it. Just get my little feet up. Right. So I've got my eyes. I'm really pleased with that. Super smoky, that. Now, what have I picked for as blush? Where is it? Oh, that's it. I've picked this for the blush. Nars Portofino. Beautiful. Probably need to blend that out, like a lot. I'm using a little buffer brush. This is off uh, Sarah. It's the one that got the palette. And it just gently buff it into the skin. I wanted something a bit pink for this look. Not too much though. And because it's a cream product, it goes into the skin quite well. As you know, I'm not a fan of matte. Although saying that, Melania do a lush one. A lush blush. A lush blush. You don't pinch it. And I've got really, I'm really fond of it. It's lush. Now, let's go on top of that with a bit of highlight. We're just going to put it on. So this unicorn one's got pink tones, where the other ones are more um, frosted. So there's a little bit of there. So very frosted and white. This actually reminds me of like a liquid pink opal, you know, Max Pink Opal Pigment, that the discontinued. They don't sell it anymore. It's a shame. But we need a lot of highlight. Don't we? I do like that and put a bit of highlight on my head as well because I've been enjoying putting a little bit here there and everywhere so let's get a bigger brush here go in with this one here just a gentle bit there down the nose and then I'm going to put a bit here I've got a lush lipstick for you where you say it we could actually put a bit on top of the cheek there we go look at that I really want to highlight it that's it get on there really sure for that that is super super highlighted now for the lips I've decided on this I've got another option for you if you don't want a purple so this one is NYX suede and it's doom really really nice dark purple look at that if you wanted something a bit more appropriate Lovely light pink MAC lipstick. This one's cream cup. Or you could go for a light, light pink gloss. That would work really well. 
So there's a couple of options there. I'm going with this dark lipstick. So off we go. very dark isn't it super duper dark but I think on top of that I like to put a little bit of something so the same brush I've gone over with the highlight just a little bit My lips are wonky, so let's just do There we go, I'm done. I just wanted something different and I love the look of that lipstick so I've been waiting for a look to do with it. And I thought that would be a great one. Smoky monochrome. Really hope you enjoy this look. Obviously, I don't like the way through the lips. But we well, just keep pouting, you'll get rid of it. But I really hope you enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for lots more because I've got so much makeup to get through and I really hope you've enjoyed this look. See you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom.